What's going on guys? Come here back again on another MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty video. Today I really just want to talk about the gameplay and the current situation that we have going on with MLB The Show 19 because I know a lot of people are unsatisfied. I know even a lot of people are straight up quitting the game and we're early in the month of May. We've barely went over a month and two weeks. We're just approaching that benchmark right now. And there's already people quitting MLB The Show, which I think is a travesty. Um, I personally am still enjoying this game. I know I did make a video talking about, you know, my really full feelings before I left for my vacation that video did play um, so if you guys watched that but I really talked more so what I did like about it this video I strictly want to talk about gameplay and how they can fix the game to make it actually a really solid game gameplay wise experience because like I said I know a lot of people are frustrated um, that we haven't actually gotten a gameplay patch yet we have gotten I think like three or four patches something like that um, but they all have been just minor issues more cosmetic and you know just bug fixes they haven't actually dealt with gameplay so i wanted to strictly talk about gameplay in this video so without further ado let's hop right into it the first thing that I want to talk about is probably the most important. I want to get the most important out of the way first. And in my opinion, that is hitting because hitting is a vital component to a baseball game. That should be pretty obvious that uh, hitting is very important. Um, I do think hitting is better than it was last year. Um, just off a couple standards, I think in general, it feels more rewarding. It feels a little bit more fluid. Um, but it's weird that I still look back to games like 15 and 16 the show and say, that did hitting better. That It's just weird to think about that because I just felt like it was so much more rewarding back then than it is now. And I know this is a hotly contested topic. I do not think if you center the ball up with good timing that it should be a home run or that it should be an extra base hit hit 115 miles per hour every single time. I'm saying that the success ratio of it being an actual hit should be higher because right now, I think, well, in previous years, in 17 and 18 the show, I think the main problem was when you would square up a ball perfectly it's just that it wouldn't go anywhere in the exit velocity wouldn't correspond to how you actually matched up with your hitting type with your zone hitting um, but now I think the problem is you do that and it's just a fly out which yeah you're still hitting the ball hard but that's just not very rewarding and then you have somebody else your opponent for example um is jammed inside and he just gets blue pits all game and those add up you know especially i know a lot of guys like running ricky henderson Etro, tony gwynn guys with a lot of speed if you get those blue pits those could possibly turn into doubles and if you you know keep stacking those with that much speed on base that can equal a lot of runs and make you lose the game even if you are actually scoring the ball up better than your opponent actually playing the game like you're supposed well i i don't want to say like getting blue pits is um, an exploit by land because it's just how the game plays so um, it's just really frustrating to possibly lose in that way so my suggestion on how to fix that is just kind of have the PCI it's gonna be a lot harder to make um, those you know those hits happen when you square up the ball just because I simply don't know exactly what you would do with that but I do think and I talked about this in my previous video if you make the PCI where you have to be closer where if you're not within a certain radius if you're not within a certain distance of the ball with your uh, PCI you're not gonna hit the ball because I think that's a main problem I also think strikeouts are down this year um, I know it's not to the point where we had it last year where it was impossible to strike somebody out at the beginning of the year um, but there's games where it's like I get four or five strikeouts and it's like wow that's pretty good because you just don't strike out guys like that this year I just think if you make it harder to actually make contact which will also help improve the contact in uh, plate vision meta which um, of course is uh, much better from last year so props to you guys on that but I think if you did fix that a little bit more um, and just made it so you have to be closer with your PCI to actually make any sort of contact that would fix a lot of the Texas Leaguer and blooper problem we currently have. Like I said, as far as rewarding hits that are squared up, it's really going to be hard because they are already at a good exit velocity. I guess the other main issue would just be kind of making the late and early hits not as good as good timing hits. I guess that's really the only thing you can do because 
I mean, it's it's a tough situation, right? Like you are scoring the ball up and it's going for outs, but it's still being hit hard. So I don't know so much what they could actually do. I think if they just made it so getting good good is a little bit better and then getting early good or late good is a little bit nerfed. I think that's as much as we could really see hitting wise realistically in a actual patch. Pitching, as far as I'm concerned, is not really too much of an issue. The only minor thing I would say is that I think it's a little bit ridiculous how if I have somebody with good walk 90 control and if I'm getting perfect on my analog meter or analog meter pulse, whatever you use, I think it's a little ridiculous that the ball is not ending up close to where I pitched it. That's really the only thing. I know they also did make it so if you try to spam a pitch that is not your primary, so if your X pitch is fastball and you try to spam a changeup, you'll be more likely to give up, you know, let it right down the middle. I guess that's fine if there's any way possible, just if I dot up my meter, if I dot up my analog, make it more rewarding, make it go where I want to, as long as I have decent walks per nine and control. Fielding. Oh my god, where do I start with fielding? This is probably the biggest issue with me at uh, right now. At first, I honestly didn't think there was any problems with fielding. I thought it was fine. You know, um, I thought they did a good job of having a gap between some of the elite fielders and the JD Martinez's of the world where you have to put guys with decent fielding out there or you are going to face the consequences. But I have learned that come fielding is kind of BS this year. Just for the fact that I have, and I talked about this in my previous video too, but I did more research to find out both Javier Bias and Jose Reyes, diamond fielders, bobble the ball. A ground ball hit right to them. Basically, they don't have to move. Ground ball hit right to them. They bobble it. How, that doesn't make any sense. If they have diamond fielding, which equates to about 85 fielding or so, um, why are they are bobbling the ball? Because you guys know, myself as a player, I can't do anything to control that. I can put them where they're supposed to be. They're directly in line with the ball and they bobble it. There's no button to press to make them feel the ball. That's completely out of my control. So if I have, if I do the job and put somebody with good feeling out there, there's no way they should bobble a ball. That just doesn't make sense. The same goes for dropping pop flies, except I don't really think that's as much of an issue for guys with high fielding. Um, I don't know. That really has to be fixed, in my opinion. Sense of urgency is another thing I talked about where sometimes it's completely non existent and it looks as bad as last year. Other times it looks like it's much improved. So I think there is still much work to be done right there. Jogging and outfielders, that was a big problem last year, I think. In general, it's kind of fixed. Sometimes it can still seem a little bit weird. I think animation locks for fielders are still kind of bad, especially once you get up to a wall. It just doesn't really feel realistic how they have that slow entering the wall. Like, yeah, I played baseball before. I know what it's like when you get up to a wall. You don't just jog and like have to sit there and press. Like you guys have seen those animations, unless you have bronze, bronze or common fielding. You should not get those horrible animations that really, really drags the game down in my opinion. And then finally, I just want to address the common and bronze fielders. Personally, I, I think it's fine. You know, some people might say it's a little bit overboard because it is really hard to use guys like JD Martinez and even uh, Acuna this year because the fielding is so bad. They get bad reactions to the ball and it's just a nightmare. Personally, I think that's what you get. I know it's tough to say because you might want to use these guys and you say like they literally are not usable. Maybe they could nerf it a little bit or not nerf it, but make them a little bit better defensively and not have as big of like heads uh, based on fielding. But at the same point, it does make sense if you want to have good fielding animations and do not want to be frustrated, have good fielders out there. But then again, at the same point, that's where they have to make sure. And if you have gold or better fielding, you should not bobble ground balls or drop pop flies. That is a must. Another thing I want to bring up is the whole MLB stadium situation, which somehow has not gotten fixed in over a month. Um, basically, it is where there is an increased latency added to the games when you're in an MLB stadium opposed to a spring training stadium or a minor league stadium. I think it's the same with classic stadiums too, I think. But I know for sure MLB stadiums, if you guys have any more information, let me know down below in the comment section as always. As far as I know, the reason for this would be the 
The only thing that would make sense to me is minor league stadiums have a lot less things going on. They have a lot less, you know, seats and attendance, um, a lot less people that they have to render and show into the game opposed to like MLB stadiums. And then they also don't have like all the banners, like they don't have to show the Texas Rangers World Series. Okay, I guess they wouldn't have to do that anyway because it doesn't exist. But you guys, get I don't want to hear anything. I'm a Rays fan. We haven't won shit either. But all jokes aside, I think it is probably for that reason um, that there's just so much more that they have to render in these MLB parks opposed to like minor league stadiums. But that is a big problem because a lot of people aren't aware of this. They'll use a MLB stadium online and it is noticeable. It's not unplayable, but it is a noticeable difference from a minor league stadium. Please try to find some way and figure that out. One more thing that I just did remember is I know with catchers sometimes there's an issue where you won't get the throwing meter brought up when somebody's trying to steal. That's happened to me quite a few times. That is also an issue that they need to work on. I think sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Maybe it has something to do with the user input, like you don't do it right away and then it doesn't show up. But in my opinion, it should show up regardless. Um, so I just think that's another thing that they need, uh, need to fix um, because it is really frustrating if you have somebody trying to steal on you all game and there's really nothing you can do because you don't have the actual throwing meter show up. So there's no possible way to throw them out. One more issue I want to address, shout out to Kyle Nextdoor, one of the top players. I just did look up his Twitter because I remember he had a very in-depth description of what he thought needed changes and I agree for sure on this one. It is wind. Wind, of course, does make a difference in online play. Of course, you know, that is realistic because there is actual wind um, affecting the ball in real life MLB play, but I honestly don't think it has... I don't think it should be in Diamond Dynasty or online play just for the fact that it is a huge variable and maybe maybe just nerf it or just take it out altogether but it has such a big impact for example if it's like 10 miles out like going out towards you know the seats Balls just seem to carry way more and likewise if it's coming inwards there's just no home runs hit and when you add that together with the line out problem with you know squaring the ball up and it just going for outs it will drive you crazy because you will never be hitting home runs all you will do is hit hard hit line drives and fly balls that just go for outs even though you're squaring the ball up you're doing everything you're supposed to it's just not equaling and rewarding experiences so wind in my opinion take it out that i believe is pretty much it for the gameplay as far as i am concerned if you guys have any other suggestions or anything else that i did miss out problems with the gameplay please let me know down below in the comment section i'll gladly go ahead and continue the conversation over there um I, I still do enjoy this game. I'm not, I'm definitely not one of those people that are like, okay, I'm close to quitting the game or I have already quit the game um, because it's just too frustrating. I'm not gonna lie. If you guys watch my gameplays, you'll know I usually try not to get frustrated. It is hard at times to not get frustrated if I'm squaring the ball up at all times and it's not equaling anything. If I have my golden diamond fielders, cause I make damn sure to put good defensive players out there. If they're still making errors, that have nothing to do with me that is also very annoying so it is hard to not get frustrated sometimes so i definitely get why people are having these issues and are frustrated with the gameplay right now um i'm just saying that i'm still enjoying it but if they made these changes and have a good rewarding first gameplay patch which they did say in their last live stream that they do not know when that's going to be it probably is going to be relatively soon they just did not want to give us a date because they do not know exactly and they don't want to give us false information um, so that is important to understand and I respect that of course they're always working on the gameplay hopefully they'll have a very good first patch and then this gameplay is going to get a lot better because the content is there for Diamond Dynasty because I think most people um, watching this are probably referring to Diamond Dynasty I don't know how many people actually play online rated um, but yeah I think the content is there all the other core aspects of the game are there at least for online play they just need to get the gameplay sound and I think this can be very very good and I think a lot of people are going to enjoy it so if they listen to this listen to the community on all the feedback that they've been giving them I think the gameplay is going to be a hell of a lot better but if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to like double hope you guys are great today and there you guys